So when it comes to sharing a project, uh, this is one of the best parts about markup. So, you know, let's say you've got all of your comments together and you're ready to pass it off to you, whether it's one person or multiple people on your team. Um, all you need to do is just go down here to this share button. When you click share, you can either copy this link and send it to, uh, you know, a mass email, it could be in Slack, Microsoft Teams, whatever you're using for collaboration. And if you want to actually just add in a specific email address, you can do that up here. Right now, you can only do this one at a time. We haven't added the ability to enter in multiple email addresses, so this would just be one at a time. But let's say you did type in an email address and you sent it to a user. Um, this is what they're going to see on their end. So if I pull up my specific email inbox, I sent this to myself before, uh, somebody's going to receive an invitation to collaborate based on whatever the project name is. So if it was unchanged, it's just going to be whatever the name of the URL is. Um, again, it, that's why it's sometimes important to change the actual project name in your dashboard view, just so this can be a little bit more clear. Um, by clicking accept, this is exactly what the user will see. So I pulled this up in a separate window. When a user clicks your invite to come into markup, if they are a new user and have never signed up before, they're going to be able to see your entire project. But as soon as they click somewhere, they're going to be prompted with a sign up. Now, a few things. One. People can just continue as a guest, um, even without adding in an email. The only way that they might want to add in an email is if they want to receive email notifications for the specific project, or if they want to be able to organize other projects that they have and they just want to create their own account, they can do so here. But I just want to walk through the, the guest flow. So let's say I was Alex. All I need to do is click continue as guest. It's going to load for a second. And it's going to bring me right back into the project and I will have access to start commenting as a guest user. So again, it's super easy to share this and to get people's feedback without forcing them to sign up um, right away for markup. So now that I'm in as a guest, I can go between comment and browse. I can also come back here and look at the specific comments by clicking the comment bubble down here. These are the comments that you know my colleague or my teammate would have left for me. And likewise, I, you know, I can click into these comments and it'll take me exactly to where that page is in the site and where that comment pertains to. So again, sharing markup is super seamless. Anybody can come in without formally signing up um, just as a guest. And again, if they want to be able to receive email notifications in a project, it's probably best that they actually sign up for their own account and or add in their email when they sign up as a guest.